Courtney Julia. In my last video blog, I said I'm a volume eater. So I wanted to spend a couple minutes today explaining what a volume eater is and if you are a volume eater, how you can effectively stick to your diet while still feeling satisfied and full. So basically a volume eater means you like to be full. Some people um, have really good self-control and so they can have little bites of um, maybe highly dense calorie foods, um, but stop themselves after one or two bites and then they're good. I need to feel like there's actually food in my stomach. So um, I've kind of learned to eat this way so that I am always satisfied um, and not feeling hungry, but yet I still stay within my calorie range. Um, if I need to lose weight, I can lose weight quickly. Um, if I need to maintain my weight, I don't overeat. So um, my best tips, um, I've got four tips for um, eating correctly if you're a volume eater. And the number one tip, the biggest one, is to eat your your fruits and vegetables, but mostly vegetables. Um, and the best way to do this is to just learn how to cook them, make stir fries, incorporate them into your meals. I like to eat a lot of my meals all together so that I can kind of combine meat and veggies and bites. Um, but the biggest advice I could give you is learn to like your vegetables, fill up on veggies. They're basically no calories and they'll fill you up. So learn to like your vegetables, incorporate them into every meal and you won't feel hungry anymore. Um, my second tip is um, to eat soups. Um, I talked about this yesterday. Soups have lots of liquid in them. Um, they're often low in calorie as long as they're a water-based soup, not a cream-based soup. Um, they're easy to make in the crock pot and they fill you up. So um, make soup at least one night a week and that's a simple meal that will last you um, not only for that one meal but also maybe for lunches during the week or perhaps dinners um, later in the week as well. So make some soups, use your crock pot. Um, and the third tip I have is avoid carbs. Um, carbs, for whatever reason, stimulate me to want to eat more. So I never have just one cracker or five crackers. I normally have 20 crackers. Or if I have cake, I don't normally have a bite of cake. I eat all the cake. And it's a very highly dense calories um, for a small amount. I obviously don't feel full after I eat them. And for whatever reason, I notice that after I eat a lot of carbs, I feel like eating more and more carbs. And this has to do with the fact that carbohydrates um, release chemicals in your brain that tell your body it's um, feeling pleasure. So we get these chemicals during a lot of things. Exercise is something that releases them as well. Um, sex is something that releases them. If you're a cigarette smoker, smoking a cigarette releases those chemicals. So it's kind of like an addiction and carbs help feed that addiction. So if you have trouble sticking to your diet, you're probably eating carbs. So I would look at that and maybe evaluate how often you have carbohydrates or at least try not to have them as the focus of a meal. So for example, don't eat pastas, maybe eat you know, um, chicken with a small amount of pasta or put chicken in your pasta but just decrease the portion you'd normally put by half or even make it only a fourth of what you normally put because we as Americans tend to eat way too many carbs. Um, and then finally, my last tip, um, and this I think is something that you'll probably get sick of hearing, but drink lots of water. We often mistake thirst for hunger. So um, especially if you're snacking during the day, I like to recommend having a glass of water before you have your snack. Um, one, you might eat less. Two, you might realize you're not even hungry, maybe water satisfied, whatever craving you were having. So drink lots of water. And anyways, um, basically, yeah, that sums up what um, a volume eater is. Um, there's four tips on kind of how to um, handle that if you are a volume eater. I completely understand. I like to feel full. I don't like to feel hungry. So um, the biggest thing I can tell you, though, just to reiterate it, is learn to love your vegetables. Learn to cook with them. Learn to have them at every meal. And you will never feel hungry again, really. Um, so, yeah, anyways, enjoy your day. Good luck with your diet.